the Oracle RPAD function. The RPAD function adds extra characters such as spaces to the right of a text value. It's useful to make sure all values have the same length. And it's similar to the LPAD function, but the RPAD function pads characters to the right, where LPAD pads characters to the left. The syntax for the RPAD function takes three parameters. The first is the text value or expression you want to pad. The second parameter is the length, which is the total length that the expression will be padded to. This is not the number of characters to pad it with. And finally, the pad expression is the character to be used for padding. You can specify more than one, but the default is a space. You can find out more information about this function in the article linked in the description. And we'll also take a look at some examples. When we use the RPAD function, we're going to use this customers table here that we've set up. It contains several values. The first RPAD function example will pad the last name up to 15 characters. It's hard to see in SQL Developer, but these values have had spaces added to the end of them. Let's try the RPAD function, but we're going to pad star characters instead of spaces. You can see that all the values have had stars up to a length of 15. The third example is where we're going to specify spaces to pad the last name with, except we've specified a value of five. If you look at the output here, you can see that some of the values have been truncated at five characters. This can happen with the RPAD function if your length is less than the actual length of the value. So you will need to be careful with this. This fourth example here uses the RPAD function on the employees column, which is a number value. You can see here that we've padded a value with spaces up to four characters, but the spaces are a bit hard to see. The fifth example uses RPAD and LPAD together. First, we're going to LPAD the last name column up to a length of 10 with hash characters. And then we're going to get that entire value and pad it up to 15 characters with a star value. You can see that a variable number of hash characters have been added here to the left, but we've always got five stars to the right. This example here includes the NVL function, which means we're translating the null country values to a space. We then use the RPAD function on this to pad characters to the right up to a length of 10. You can see here that underscores have been added to the right of all of the country values, even the null value, which is translated to a space. Now we're going to R pad the country value up to a length of eight with a value of null. You can see that the output in all situations is null. This means that any time you specify a null value as the character here, the entire string will get translated to null. In example number eight here, we're going to write pad the country value up to a length of 15 with two characters, a dash and an asterisk. You can see here that dashes and asterisks have been padded to the right of all of these country values. You can see that some of them have only been partially added that sequence. For example, here we have dash, star, all the way up to the end, but then a single dash. This is done so it meets the length of 15. The final example here is where we have a variable length depending on the row. We're going to pad the country value, but the length is going to be the country value times two, so double the existing length. We're going to pad stars to it. You can see in the output that the length of the string is different for each value. France and Canada both have six stars added to them because their length is six. USA has three and UK has two.